Namaste and hello dear mamas. Welcome to this part 2 of the series Morning Stretches. This stretches can be done in any trimester that is second trimester or third trimester. If you have not gone through the part 1 of this series, the link of that video is given in the description box. You can visit that video first and then come back here. Okay, so um, few, few stretches you can do every day, every morning that will help you to mobilize uh, your joints and help you to improve your blood circulation. But of course, before doing this practice, you may consult your doctor and make sure you're not fe feeling any uh, dizziness or any uncomfort at any part of the time, right? So let's start with this practice. You must sit relaxed, <coughs> sit comfortable, keep your back upright. Shoulders relax. Taking a few soothing breaths in and out. You may place your palms on your belly. Every practice starts by calming down your body and the mind. You breath here, building a strong connection with your baby and with your body. And take a deep breath in and exhale. One more deep breath in and exhale slowly. And gently open your eyes. Let's start with the side stretches. Generally, we sit a stagnant position for a long time. So the sides, we don't stretch a lot. So this routine, we are going to stretch on the sides as well as we are going to stretch on the back side of the leg as well. Okay. Sure. Place your palms, your fingers pointing to your mouth. Just place your right palm on the back, just leaning down to the right side. You may gently slide it, bend the elbow, stretch your left palm up, arm up, exhale, stretch it, pointing the ceiling. Your breaths here, and exhale. You may bend down further, stretch your arm to the right side. A few relaxing breaths here. You may feel the nice stretch of your ribs. Breathe in and breathe out from the left side of your ribs. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, arm down and relax. Slide your left arm on the mat. Turn your right, right palm up. Stretch it up. Pull it up. Pointing the ceiling. Exhale. You can bend it down further. And deep breaths here from your right ribs. Enjoy the few relaxing breaths. Put a smile on your face. Inhale, up, exhale, arm down, and relax. Roll over your shoulders and relax. You may interlace your fingers. Press the back side of your head, the center of your head. Now pull your shoulders and the elbows back. You may gently arch your back, look up towards the ceiling and keep on pulling your arms back. A gentle stretch on your upper back, opening in the clavicle, soothing breaths here. Exhale and relax. As you exhale, slowly push your head down. You may gently push your head down Enjoying the stretch on your neck. And you close your arms. Gently hunch your back. Let's go. Exhale. And slowly come up. You can do it for one more round. Exhale and relax. Come to the center. You're going to stretch your arms up. Long. Inhale, exhale, and down, and relax. This stretches will help you to open up your shoulders, your clavicle, relax your neck. Okay. Next uh, stretches that we are going to release the tension in the 
back, especially the lower back. Okay, so for that, we come into the tabletop pose. You might sit into the Vajrasana, the Thunderbolt pose, and from here, enter into the tabletop pose, taking the appropriate distance between your knees and between your arms. Comfortable here, back in the relaxed, neutral pose, and then from here, we'll gently sway back and front. Back and front. Raising the tension in the lower back. All attention on your lower back. And now from here, let's practice the cat and camel stretch. Inhale, arch your back as if your navel is pointing to the mat. Raise the tailbone up. Look straight. And your nice vibration on your back. Exhale, roll over your shoulder, stuff your tailbone in, hunch your back. Here, you get a nice pull on your lower back, releasing the tension of the back. Now, many women, especially in the third trimester, they come up with a low back pain. This cat and cat stretch is really a blessing for them. We need one more round of cat stretch. Focusing on your spine, on your lower back. Exhale, hunch your back. Yeah. Once again, come back into the table dog pose. And now from here, we do some stretches for the back side of your neck. Just hand uh, slide forward a little bit. That's fine. Then right leg goes back, straight back the toe. Look straight and here once again we are going to sway our body front and back. This simple swaying front and back gives a nice relaxation to the back side of your leg. It stretches your calf, your hamstring, your lower back. Right? And now let's start. This is the center. Inhale, go back. Keep on stretching your heel towards the floor. This gives a nice pull on your calf. Very little thick. They uh, face the sciatica problem and the uh, lower back issue. This is a very nice stretch for them. Okay. Exhale and come front. Straight from forward. Okay. As you can see, keeping your leg straight, just move your heel front and back. Nice relaxation to the back side of your leg. And stop here. Drop your knee. Let's move with other leg, left leg straight, tuck toe nicely gripped, and let's sway front and back. Let's go back, exhale and front, releasing the tension in the calf, in the hamstring, and the lower back. Exhale and stay here. Drop the knee down and relax. Yeah. From here, we are going to enter into the downward dog pose. That downward dog pose also focuses on the stretching of the lower back, releasing the tension in the back. Okay. Let's start. Tap the toe. Slide the body a little bit in front. And pressing your palms, pressing your toe, gently straighten your leg. Enter into the downward dog pose. Then push your chest. Straighten your neck, keep on pulling your buttocks up, release your tailbone up a little bit. Put adjust the position of your legs here. And then from here, inhale and exhale. Gently bend your knees out, pointing point them out. Exhale. Stay here for a few breaths, enjoy the stretch on the back side of your leg. Once again, inhale. Long and exhale, bend your knees, come down and exhale. Relax, slowly come forward, drop your knees down. Good. Now support your hips and gently push your hips in front. Exhale and sit down. 
This gives a nice relaxation to the back side of your leg and the lower back. Okay. After this, let's uh, do something for our thighs. Let's pull our thighs a little bit. Okay. So for that, just stretch your right leg in front, move the legs at the 90 degree. Okay, balance in this posture. You may keep your hands on your hip, back straight, look straight. If you feel imbalanced, you may tuck your toe on the back this way. Okay, now inhale, look straight, inhale, and push your hips in front, front, pointing the mat. As you go down, you feel the nice stretch on your right thigh. You may sway your arms down and sway them up, balancing your weight. Large back, little bit. Hold your three breaths. My and exhale down back. Let's do with the other leg. Balance with your weight. Explain slide down and go on the other side. Okay. Back straight. Balance your weight down, push your hip in front, okay. arms goes up, stay here, one, two, three, four, one, exhale, hands down, and slowly slide your leg back, and sit, yeah, okay, so my dear mamas, that's all in this today's uh, part. We'll come up with the one more part, part three of this series, morning stretches. So do practice these stretches, but of course under the guidance. And let me know what are the challenges that you are facing every morning. We also conduct the regular pre classes. You can take the benefit of that. The to know more, you can WhatsApp us at the UK Yoga Therapy and Wellness. So, my dear mamas, keep enjoying your pregnancy period and keep practicing prenatal yoga. Till then, we'll see you in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye. Namaste.